Hey guys, Neomis here. Now, this is a kind of a quick video. Normally, I wouldn't do these on my phone, but just finished watching the uh, friendly between England and Austria. And typically, I wouldn't have done it. Typically, I would have kind of given some type of warning that I would have done it. But I thought, hey, why not? Bukayo Saka's in the squad. And Bukayo Saka scores his first England goal. Really good build-up play um, with uh, Jude Bellingham winning the ball in midfield. Uh, then you had uh, Jack Grealish driving forward, trying to create chance. Didn't quite go his way with the kind of one-two with uh, Lingard, but manages to come in the path of Saka. And Saka just uh, puts it away to score the only goal of the game, which, uh, again, I was pretty surprised with. I thought England overall showed some very good signs. You could tell just the link-up play between Saka and Grealish, like there is something there. Uh, and Kane seemed like he found a place with both of them as the game went on. Kane, even though was the striker, wasn't really like the main threat. It was him more so being the kind of creative type, almost playing like a number 10 per se, and then kind of dropping back and then allowing the likes of Grealish and Saka uh, and Lingard to go forward to create chances and uh, and score a goal, which was good. You know, Saka obviously scoring his first goal, love it. Um, I'm gonna upload that that video uh, that I took on my phone to Twitter, showing the goal um, as well. I definitely want that on on the permanent feed and timeline. But I just kind of wanted to give my uh, overall thoughts about the England game. Uh, and where I think this England side is going. Uh, and even though I do see some good elements, I do see the same signs of the same things I've seen in the past when it comes to the England national side. And I, I just hope that this is only happening because of the friendlies, but this just boring way of playing when you have so much attacking prowess, so much... Um, players with flair and creativity and we're still playing this dreary drab way I think would be pretty much disappointing uh, particularly for this generation of England players now I'm not one of those that believe in this type of golden generation nonsense because at the end of the day when you look at how other teams perform against England and generally in other competitions England always have a, have a golden generation like every generation there's always a new set of footballers that come through who show promise and who are very talented and it's just a matter of who you have in, the coaches in charge to kind of give those players a chance and call them up and the one thing that I like is that you know there definitely is an onus on, on young players now I, I mean I, I personally I feel that it might be a bit too early for some of them or at least are they really needed right now because you know there's there are enough talented players there who are well and above over 21 uh, overall. But I think the key thing that Gareth Southgate has to get right is just to get the squad balance right. The squad balance that has a good amount of creativity, goals, uh, and still have that steel that he clearly likes um, by you know keeping clean sheets. But you just have to say, if we come up against a better attack inside, a more clinical attack inside, I truly believe England are going to be in trouble. Because during this game, there were plenty of chances that um, Austria, uh, and they had the players to do so, with um, um, Alaba was really good. Um, Sabitzer constantly getting closer and closer. If it wasn't for the England defence, just making sure that they continually intercept those long drive shots that Sabitzer was making, it could have been worse. But I do like the way how, how things went. Um they do need to sort out the midfield. I think that's probably the biggest issue when it comes to this England side. Um, Jude Bellingham and Rice in that midfield were okay, but they were so sluggish that, I mean, all the Austrian players did was just press them and try to win the ball back. And you just have to say, you need a bit of speed in there. You need a bit of pace. I think that's where Mason Mount will probably do really well. Um, in that midfield, but they, they do need something else um, in there. And I don't believe that they have the right type of player for that. Um, there was talks on Stuart Dallas being 
someone that could fit that role, at least through all the kind of Arsenal content that I read. But, I mean, he wasn't even considered. But definitely long-term going forward, they, they definitely need some, some energy into that central midfield to be able to give a better balance with the type of players that they're playing in midfield with, you know, um, Rice, who's slow, and Jude Bellingham, who's slow. I mean, yes, they're all technically great, but for the most part, they're slow players. Um, but you know what? I am relatively optimistic with England. I think most of the time they tend to do well in the kind of qualifying rounds and friendlies. They tend to be okay. But if the key thing matters is what are they going to do in the competition? Uh, and I think that's the part that everybody's waiting for. But good that Saka managed to get on the score sheet. You would have to think with Mason Greenwood being injured that he surely he's going to go. Me as an Arsenal fan, I don't mind if he doesn't go because at the end of the day, I know that Saka's not going to be a risk um, of getting injured. And he's someone that we're going to need uh, for Arsenal um, as, you know, um, during preseason, which, kind of, which they would have released some stuff today. Uh, preseason do to kind of really kick off uh, in another six to seven weeks um, in America. And hopefully Saka could be a part of that. But... Today is International Day. Um, congrats again to Slack Saka for scoring the goal. And yeah, I hope that he scores many more. But leave your comments if you did watch the game. What were your thoughts on the game overall? Um, I quite enjoyed it. It got boring at the end. I wanted some goals. Uh, it just sucks. Like, you know, you want to see more entertaining, more flash. It was quite clear that England had enough talent there. Um, in order to cause Austria a lot more problems. And the team was just not set up in a way to be able to do that. But hopefully Southgate can prove me wrong because I do think that he's a dinosaur, like I said previously in my other videos, in a manager. And hopefully he will bring out some more attack and prowess. But yeah, leave your comments below. Interesting to hear what you guys have to say in regards to Saka and England. And I will see you all next time, which probably will be tomorrow as I see some... Very tasty, interesting rumours on Arsenal transfers coming through. And then obviously we got the Euros coming up and again in a couple of weeks. But until then, see you next time.